OK, we've got horses, trainers, jockeys to follow. Um, okay. Can I go first quickly? I'll be very quick. Well, we've got actually ages, to okay, be honest. OK, OK. <laughs> okay. You can, well, listen, you can take your time, Fitzy. I'll drag it out. We're we'll going to have a right. couple. I've got a couple of uh, horses that I thought were really impressive in bumpers that I really liked. Indiver Bleu of Ollie Murphy's. Go and watch that horse winning at Weatherby. Uh, super, super impressive. Owned by Diana Wheatley. Like, honestly, you watch this thing hit the line. So strong. And I think he could be really smart. Ollie Murphy needs a good horse. I think this could be it. I really do. Another horse, uh, bumper horse, Crest of Glory, okay. trained by Anthony Honeyball. Went to Newbury last year and absolutely dotted up. Um, they rode this horse very handy. Um, when Aidan Coleman gave him a squeeze, he put daylight between himself and the rest, beating them miles. The horse that finished fifth, you couldn't even see him. He was that far behind, has won twice already, so the form has had a good look. And it would be lovely for Nicky Richards if he had a good horse. He's got one, I think, for Jim Fife, Florida Dreams, who won at the Aintree Festival, won a bumper in those very distinctive black and pink colours. And I think this could be a good horse for Nicky. I really do. OK. I hope it is. There's plenty in there. Yeah. Shall I go, shall I go, shall I go next? Yeah. Or should we get oh. Kevin? Shall I, I think I will. As I'm well, I think the, the crowd are waiting for Kevin. But well, they, they can wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Crowd of one. Um, right. OK. Some of these you're going to love, Fitzy. Okay. You're going to laugh at. OK. Because there are some Hendo horses in here. Right. I'm going to start with a Hendo horse called right. South of the Border. Yeah. A Fosslas bumper winner. Owned by West Coast Haulage. Yes. I just think it... Look, I'm not talking about. We're not talking about. I'm not talking about Cheltenham here. I'm not talking about Aintree. He's a nice horse. I'm just talking about horses. I think will win you races yeah. if you follow them this season. Yeah. Um, and south of the border, certainly one. This one, you're going to absolutely laugh at me because he got beat at Fontwell the other day. But I'm in love with this horse, yeah. uh, Ilish Dumu. Now, he looked weak when he got beat at Fontwell the other day. He's built like he's a chaser already. I think he's five off the top yeah. of my head. Um, if he happened to go chasing this season rather than staying hurdling, I think he's got loads of ability. Again, he's not going to win at Cheltenham, okay. but I'm sure he's got loads of win wins in him. Uh, one horse that we haven't mentioned that at one point was considered a monster, and I'm not giving up on Jet Powered. Yeah. You tell me about Jet Powered. I mean, he, he's a Donnelly colour yeah, horse. Yeah, almost a Donnelly. Remember, uh, he, and he was although he got beat in the end, he, he wasn't disgraced. I think he could be great. Um, if attacker goes chasing for Nicky, which I presume he will. I think he'll win races. Yeah. Um, right, let's... let's. I've got... Uh, OK, I'll give you another Henderson horse. OK, give me another Henderson horse. Django what? Bay. Django Bay. J-A-N-G-O B-A-I-E. This is a horse that I was actually there at the point to point when this horse finished second from Mick Goff. He got beaten by a horse owned by J.P. McManus, ridden by Derek O'Connor. No flies on him. Uh, which has now gone into training with Edward O'Grady. Um, yeah. Keep an eye on both of those horses because they looked really, really smart. Uh, Willie the Builder was the horse that finished third that yeah. day of Declan Quealy's. He's the horse that came out of Utoxeter for Dan and Harry Skelton the other day and won by half the track. These two horses were in front of him and they're both very, very smart. It'd be nice to see Eddie with it a would. good one. I haven't quite finished yet. I've got about Go four on. or five more. I hope you're noticing these down because these are winners. Uh, Marvellous <laughs> Mick for Paul Nichols. Can't believe you didn't choose that one, Fitzy. Um, Chepstow bumper winner. Blue Brazil offspring out of a Cave Tower mare. Nice. I'll be stunned if that horse... It's a, it's a five-year-old. I'll be great stunned name. if it, it's, Great name. Yeah, a great name. It was quite a big field at Chepstow. 13 runners, absolutely hacked up. I'll be stunned if that horse isn't pretty good. Uh, a horse I saw at Ascot last season. I was working at the track for Sky Sports Racing on the day. Uh, Thames Water um, is McNeil family and Tim Murphy. Uh, have this horse. Um, again, as long as it's alive and kicking, I'll be stunned if that's not a good horse. It was one of those that Heskin was really looking forward to. Thames um, Water. He's, he's not now. Um, uh, but yeah, Thames Water. Uh, and I tell you what, it was it was an ongoing joke on the day because I'm sure there was a hosepipe ban at the time and there was this horse Thames Water running when you couldn't get any Thames Water. Um, right, and I've got three bumper winners for Willie Mullins or, or McManus bumper horses. Kevin can tell us off the top of his head about these. You won't even need to look these up, Kevin, because with your knowledge. Uh, Indiana Dream, uh, Mirazur West um, 
Actually, those two. And the other horse I just want to mention was one that won at Worcester the other day for Twisty, Broadway Boy. That's going to win loads of novice chases. Um, but Indiana Dream and Mirazor West, Kevin. Tell me about those two. Um, Indiana Dream is going to be difficult to place this year. I don't know what they're going to do um, because did win over hurdles last year, man, <laughs> last season, and then disappeared. So won't be a novice, obviously, over hurdles this season. But it's a very good impressive. horse. Um, yeah, it did look really impressive that day, in fairness. So, um, will he go chasing? I don't know. Um, that, that would be the natural route now that he's not a novice, perhaps. But, yeah, interesting horse for sure. Interest. Yeah, cause I, did, I, I have a couple like that, Matt, that mm. went missing last season. And, and people just might forget about them a little bit. And they're worth mentioning. Um, Redemption Day. You remember him? Yeah. Um, like was really looked a really good bumper horse. Um, not last season, season before last, ended up finishing second to Fasal Vega, a mile clear to third in the Grade One bumper at the Punchestown Festival. And I did hear a positive update on him. We haven't seen him for a year and a half, but he's back in full training, and they're hoping he'll be out before Christmas. So do not forget about him if he. Uh, if he comes out and bolts up in the maiden hurdle, all of a sudden everyone will remember him and uh, fancy prices may be gone. And a horse I absolutely loved, again, a year and a half ago, the nice guy, um, Willie Mullins again, uh, Cheltenham Festival winner, Punchestown Festival winner, completely and utterly took them by surprise, doesn't show a thing at home seemingly. Malcolm um, Denmark, the nice guy. Yes, yeah. went, went through his novice hurdle season unbeaten. Um, and the, the plan was to go novice chasing last season, I believe. Um, had a setback, missed the whole thing. But he's um, he's not an old horse. He's eight, rising nine. And uh, hopefully he gets back and we can see what he can do. And a horse that I want to mention of Henry de Bromheads, um, Arctic Brezel, um, yeah. started off his season It'll be really by Blue Brezel. Pete Davies on him. The, that's the very one. Um, I was really impressed with him when he won his maiden hurdle last season. Um, went over the sand down for the Tallworth, yeah. ran absolutely motherless, unfortunately. Um, missed some time, came back at the back end of the season. A little bit disappointing again. But, uh, you know, classic Henry de Bromhead, you know, chasing is going to be his game. And he could hopefully get back on track this season. And one that's a little bit more high profile, but we haven't mentioned him yet, so I'll mention him, is Banbridge. Um, he he'll be he'll be a tricky one to follow because he doesn't want testing ground. He wants nice ground, um, but when he gets it, he's very good. And I just in particular, he'll probably start off over mid range trips. Um, but I'd be very excited about seeing him up at three miles at some stage. Um, you know, maybe something like a King George. Maybe um, he'd be he could potentially be quite interesting. Um, you know, I don't think we saw all he had to give over fences last season they put up some super performances and uh, up in trip could be the key to him so that's my lot and kevin i've got two more things i i, I really want to ask you let's start with the first of those two um now you this has been i think the first show i've ever done with you that you haven't mentioned joseph o'brien at least 10 times does joseph have <laughs> a jumper or jumper that we haven't heard of that is around the corner and exciting. Uh, see, Matt, there's a horse called Banbridge that I mentioned 30 seconds ago. That's yeah, but we've heard of Banbridge. Ride, so. I said that we haven't <laughs> heard of. You've got to listen, Kevin. This was your problem at school. <laughs> um, that you haven't heard of. He, he doesn't have a big team, Matt. He's going to have about 20 jumpers this year. Well, he's not going to um, need a race so... planner if he hasn't got a big team, is he? Yeah, it'll be a quieter winter for sure. But um, look, there's some lovely ones in amongst them that, that everyone knows all Just about. Just one. Will there be some... God. Yeah, there's a couple of juvenile hurdlers that you might be seeing um, reasonably soon, potentially in the green and gold, that um, can hopefully come up to the mark. Okay. Um, but That's enough. It, it will, That's it enough. Will, yeah, will be Manus, enough juvenile hurdlers. Kevin's not giving the names away, JP, but he's told, them, told us they're in your colours.